I'm David from the Sumo Learn team. In this video, I'm going to go over Sumo's S3 event notifications integration. Sumo's AWS sources collecting from S3 buckets can be configured to receive event notifications when new objects are added to the bucket in addition to the interval scanning. This ensures that new objects are ingested as quickly as possible since we don't have to wait for the entire listing scan to run and discover the new objects. You would enable event-based notifications on the bucket by first creating an AWS SNS topic and subscription. The topic uses a JSON policy to specify permissions, and the subscription will use the topic ARN and an endpoint URL you get from Sumo in creating your source. With these set up, you can add an event notification to your bucket that sends notifications to the topic that Sumo is subscribed to. The subscription lets Sumo know immediately when a new object is placed in the bucket. We recommend using CloudFormation to set up your topic and subscription instead of the AWS console or command line interface. This process is faster, requires less user input, and is less user error prone. And the Sumo UI even generates a template that you can provide to CloudFormation with all the necessary information included. So in Sumo, when you're creating an AWS source like an Amazon S3 source, you'll see an option under log file discovery called SNS subscription endpoint. There's a link to create a URL. In order to create the URL, we need to save the source. So you need to make sure you input all of the required fields for the source to save, like name, bucket name, path expression, and how we're gonna access the bucket. So I've already done that. So I'm gonna go ahead and click create URL and you'll see the URL is provided here. So if I wanted to use the other manual methods like the command line interface, I can copy it and provide it to AWS that way. I'm gonna use the recommended method with CloudFormation. So you can click on generate event-based polling template to get your YAML template to provide the CloudFormation. And you can see here, we've already got the information plugged in for us. We've got the endpoint up, up here and the stack name for the topic name, sorry, uh, already provided for you. So there's a link here as well to go directly to the CloudFormation console. Um, so after you download, you can click on that to go there. So we head on over to the CloudFormation console. We're gonna wanna create a new stack and upload the file that Sumo just gave us. Click next. Let's give it a name. I'm going to just name it generically. Click next. Um, options available. You can leave these default. And review and confirm. And click create once you're done. So AWS is going to start creating our topic and subscription. We even have a little description here for you with the endpoint of the Sumo Logic source. Perfect. So now we need to go over to our S3 bucket. So Amazon S3, find your, your bucket, uh, go to properties, and we want to add the event notification to the bucket itself. So advanced settings under events, click to add a notification. Let's give it a name. So we want to let them know when any objects are created. So make sure you check that box, object create. And we want to send this to the topic, uh, which is named SNS topic by the template that we provide. And for the subscription, it's going to follow this naming uh, format with sumo SNS topic dash and then the actual stack name. I just named mine stack name, so that's the one I'm going to pick. And click save. So now we've got an active notification set up on the bucket. So Sumo will get a notification anytime a new object is created. And so we can go and ingest it immediately. And that's all there is to it. Finish configuring your source, click Save. And as always, go to Home and Learn. You can uh, find a lot more information in our documentation here. Thank you.